We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. This ongoing controversy stemming from a trial that was watched by the nation. Just 10 days ago, Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty of shooting and killing protesters in Wisconsin. But you might recall one of the surprises revealed in court, Rittenhouse was enrolled in online classes at Arizona State University. But tonight, that is no longer. Elliot Polakoff joins us to explain what exactly happened here. Javier and Yetta, Kyle Rittenhouse is no longer enrolled in classes at Arizona State. But for several student organizations here, the fight to not be associated with Rittenhouse isn't over. A previously planned rally for Wednesday, it's still scheduled to be happening. Days after the ASU Students for Socialism group and a few others planned to rally on campus against Rittenhouse taking classes at ASU, an ASU spokesperson confirming Rittenhouse is currently not continuing his non-degree seeking studies. And the groups involved in the rally think their public push on social media helped make that happen. It doesn't really seem like a coincidence to me that that would blow up on Fox News and New York Post and suddenly he just, you know, leaves his classes without really any explanation. But without any assurances that Rittenhouse will remain separated from the university, the rally is still on for Wednesday. Students don't feel safe with the prospect of even having someone like Kyle Rittenhouse here at ASU. The student groups participating in the rally created a list of demands for ASU leaders, including that ASU releases a statement against white supremacy and acknowledges that Rittenhouse is, quote, a racist murderer, end quote. Local attorney Dwayne Cates is not connected to the school or the groups involved with the rally. We asked his legal opinion about what those groups wanted from ASU as it relates to Rittenhouse. If they went through with the rest of the demands and called him a white supremacist and all these other things, they would be setting themselves up for a libel slander suit, which he's already got a lawyer and there's already, already a lot of people going to be sued over this. And I don't think ASU wants to get in line. Those rallying also not confident their demands will be met, if nothing else, because of what's happened in past rallies. You know, they could make the decision last minute. They could make some sort of middle ground decision. Um, ultimately, we want the demands to be met fully, but we don't think that they'll you know, pursue them as seriously as we think that they should. There are still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding Rittenhouse not being enrolled in classes at ASU, in large part because Rittenhouse hasn't released any public statement about it. There's also the question of if he could re-enroll at ASU at a later date. I asked that question to an ASU spokesperson. He has not gotten back to me. Of course, we will keep you developed, updated on this developing situation for now. Live in Tempe, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's Family.